Okay, Merry Christmas, everyone. At least, like, when you're going to watch this. This is going to be uploaded in December, but I'm filming this in November. But, yes, this is the final season of Teletubbies that I'm doing. So, yeah. But there's still more I have to do. Uh, basically, um, there's, like, Teletubbies Everywhere, which is a spin-off series of Teletubbies. And, like, a lot of other stuff, but, yeah. The first episode's... Asian storyteller the fox. This one has a scene where Poe yells big hug and everyone comes to her and like they give each other a big hug. It has the alternate right or field four opening shot. And Dipsy's chosen for a TV event. Um uh the storyteller is like telling a story about a fox or something. I forget what happens, but yeah. Apparently. And then they do the Lion and Bear, and this is one of only two appearances of a new version uh, of the event that was edited to make it less scary. It's still pretty scary, though, honestly. It's actually slightly longer than the original version, I think. Yeah. Starts up with a Field 1 opening shot, and a field shot of a tree that the Teletubbies walked past in... Uh, the episode uh, uh, Puppies, I think. And then it plays the full uh, Magical Event tune. The Teletubbies, like, hear the bear saying, It's the bear! It's the bear! And I'm coming! So, yeah. I'm the scary lion! Rawr. Meow! The meow noise that the lion makes is also from the episode Kittens, when the voice trumpet made that same noise. And then, like, the episode ends with the windmill... The Teletubbies see the windmill spinning with the start spinning animation. They say, uh-oh, and run off. And then it shows the baby son giggling. The same clip that shows up after a TV event. And then, uh... uh and then it shows the windmill stopping. It's very random. And the last few seconds are cut as it fades to the voice trumpet. In the Chinese version of this episode, uh, they actually do the... Uh, it's like half of the original version and half of the extended version. I don't know why they... Or edited version. I don't know why they did that. And I think it's the same version from like some episodes like Irish Dancing. Because after the windmill stops spinning, uh, like the camera cuts to the voice trumpet instead of fading. So yeah. And Poe is the boo shouter. It's, I'm not sure if it, she was in Irish Dancing. I'll have to look it up. Actually, I think I'll look it up later, but, like, yeah. Uh, in the regular English version, Tinky Winky is the missing Teletubby and Lala is the boo shouter. Uh, Paddling by the Sea. This one has a scene where the Teletubbies are walking around a field as some rare opening music. And, like, this scene was already in an episode called Llama, but this is a longer version. Lala's chosen for a TV event. Uh, these kids are going to... Swim, uh, at the beach. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, the Teletubbies are hopping inside the house. It has the alternate right path one opening shot. And the first part of the magical event tune plays twice, as it, like, shows the zoomed out window windmill clip. And then, like, when it shows the Teletubbies say, uh-oh, the first part of the tune plays again. And they go watch the three ships. The baby son is not heard giggling at the beginning of the event. And the windmill stops spinning, the clip is delayed for a few seconds. In the last few seconds of it stopping, but the sparkles disappearing are cut. Uh, and it just fades to uh, the right path 2 opening shot with the windmill on screen. And uh, when the rabbit clips from Dance with the Teletubbies uh, before the round of round dance began. And they go do the splashing dance. There's an added uh, noise for, like, when the door of, like, the Teletubbies' house opens and closes. Uh, so, yeah. I don't think that happens in any other, other episodes. I could be wrong, but, like, yeah. And this is actually the last UK TV episode to have both of these uh, segments. In the Sunday special version, uh, instead of the windmill stopping... Uh, like, the windmill doesn't stop spinning after three ships. It shows the baby son giggling. I think it's the same clip that shows up after a TV event. And then, like, the splashing dance is the same version from the Sunday special version of 
ball games with Debbie because the windmill stops spinning without the Teletubby saying, uh-oh. Lala has the missing Teletubby and Poe the boo shouter. Stretching words. This one has a scene where Poe is sliding down the slide as the right path to opening shot without the windmill on screen as the zoomed out window clip. Dipsy's chosen for a TV event as Stickman, like, stretching words. Like, I don't really know, like, like, talking about words and stuff. And then there's a weird segment where a voice trumpet is, like, saying some sort of nursery rhyme about sausages. Yeah. It's very weird. Most of the footage is recycled from a uh, hand-shaped turkey when the voice trumpet was, like, saying wobble, gobble, gobble, you know that. Lala's the missing Teletubby imposed the boo shouter. I got stump. I've got something stuck in my teeth. I hate it when I do that. When I say the wrong words. Uh, monkeys. Uh, this has an opening scene uh, uh, where the Teletubbies are bouncing around inside the house. This is one of the few later appearances of the Home Hill 3 opening shot. Uh, and has a zoomed out window windmill clip. Poe's chosen for a TV event. Like, it's just weird. This random guy. It's not Andy Brown, but some other guy, like, uh, showing some kids some... Uh, monkeys, and that was just pretty weird in my opinion. But yeah. And then they do, uh, the bumping dance. Uh, it's one of the few later episodes to have a dance in the middle of the episode. Maybe it might even be the last. I don't know. I don't think it is, but, like, I'll have to check later. Uh, but yeah, it's the bumping dance. It's the shortened version. Uh... And it starts with the right path to opening shot without the windmill on screen, but with the opening music being lower pitched. It kind of sounds like the rabbit song, like the last part. This is the last uh, UK TV episode to have the bumping dance. And then after that, the next segment starts right away. The Teletubbies are making tubby toast and it starts bouncing just like an apple pie when Dipsy tried to make some tubby toast. And yeah, it's pretty weird. At the beginning of the segment, when they're outside, the windmill's not seen in the background. And, uh, at one point, like, uh, there's Tubby Toast on their plates, and then it just disappears, apparently. And when they're bouncing all around the house, the Tubby Custard machine is in the wrong spot. Yeah. In the Sunday special version, after that, they go do the animal parade, which just starts right away. And I think it doesn't have the elephant's trumpet, and the windmill stops spinning. Uh, Poe's the missing Teletubby, and Tiki Winky's the boo shouter. Now, obstacle course. This one has the Teletubbies going over the hill one by one. This has a rare shot of the path. Uh, this scene is actually shown in the main menu of some of the American Teletubbies uh, DVDs. Uh, some of them I do have. Uh, so yeah. I remember when I, like, saw this, uh, episode, I was, like, shocked because I recognized that scene from there. Uh, Tinky Winky is chosen for a TV event. Uh, these kids are, like, building an obstacle course. They're going, like, all around, like, their backyard. It's very weird. It's a very weird topic for an episode. And then the next scene has the right path, uh, to opening shot without... The windmill on screen. Yeah, without. It has a rare opening shot as well. I don't know how to explain it. But, like, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, the Teletubbies are going into their beds. But they go all around, like, the house and Teletubby land different ways. Uh, but, yeah. And the voice Trump is rising is delayed. Pose the missing Teletubby and Dipsy is the boo shouter. Now, animal plates. I just find this episode be so boring, in my opinion. As a long scene, uh, where a bunch of voice trumpets make animal noises. I think there's, like, a cow and a pig and I think it was a sheep and, like, a dog. I forget. But, yeah. This is the last episode to feature a segment with the voice trumpets and... It's the last episode to have a long opening scene. As most later episodes, the opening scenes are shorter. So yeah. Tinky Winky's chosen for TV events. Uh, these kids are making, like, 
uh, animal shapes on their plates, on their paper plates and stuff. It's pretty cool. In the background, you can see a, a Barney container uh, and a Kipper book. Yeah, Kipper the dog. I should do a video on that sometime. Did I already do, like, my Kipper memories? I think I already did that. But yeah. And then at the end, they do a short uh, closing scene where the Teletubbies are bouncing before the episode ends. Uh, the baby son's giggling at the end is different. And the voice trumpet's halfway up. And Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Poe's the boo shouter. Rumble Tumble Fun. This is actually one of my favorite episodes. Uh, the Teletubbies are falling down and stuff. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the first few seconds of the clip of the camera zooming into the windmill is cut in this episode when the TV event begins. Uh, but yeah. Lala's chosen for a TV event. These kids are, like, rolling around on, like, these blankets and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then a, a cushion appears in Teletubby Land. It's one of those, like, uh, cushions you see in, like, gym class where, like, people do, like, gymnastics on them. Tinky Winky and Poe bounce on them, and Poe falls asleep on it. And it disappears while she's asleep. Yeah. The voice trumpet's, like, almost halfway up. Uh, in the Sunday special version instead, they go do the, uh, Lion and Bear. Uh, it's the same version from Asian Storyteller the Fox. Except, I think it might have the same opening shots from the cushion segment being kept. But, yeah. Uh, Pose the Missing Teletubby and Tiki Wiki's the Boo Shouter. Uh, Bird Bath. This one is a weird episode. This one has an opening scene where the Teletubbies, where Dipsy and Lala are trying to, uh, like, eat a uh, tubby toast, but they keep laughing and falling down stuff. The opening music plays about a second early. It shows the Home Hill 1 opening shot and one of the few later appearances of it. And they accidentally show the Right Path 1 opening shot as a field shot, as a zoomed out window windmill clip. Uh, Dipsy's chosen for TV event. The audio is off sync uh, the first time. Yeah, these kids are looking at a bird bath. Uh, with some birds, like, hanging out in it. And, yeah. Uh, the next scene has Dipsy and Lala going in and out of the house. It has the right path to opening shot without the windmill on screen. They go watch The Magic Tree. This is actually the last UK TV episode with it. The windmill's magical ventune is a little bit scrambled up here as well. And the windmill stops spinning. Again, the last few seconds of the sparkles disappearing are cut. And they go do... And it shows... Uh, the, uh, it shows, like, a dance. Uh, it has rare opening music. The same opening music from Collecting Stones before the Three Ships, where, uh, it's the lower-pitched version of the extended opening music. They go do the rocking dance. It's a very weird dance, and this is one of only two episodes to have it. Yeah. It's a very weird dance, in my opinion. I've had a lot of dreams about the dance recently. Uh, but yeah. Apparently. In the Sunday special version, uh, the windmill does not stop spinning after the magic tree. I think the magic tree is the same version from Rosie's hairdo because it has the same sun baby clip at the end. And I think the rocking dance has the field 5 opening shot, a rabbit clip, one of the rabbit clips from Rabbit Song, the shortened opening music, and from what I've heard, the windmill stops spinning before they say uh-oh. And they use the clip from uh, Photo Faces uh, from the opening scene. Which I do remember something like that a long time ago. I could do a whole separate video about that. Uh, Poe is the missing Teletubby and Tinky Winky is the boo shouter. Indian dancing. This one has Poe on a walk and she sees the others and they give each other a big hug. The opening music plays a second early. Poe's chosen for a TV event. This girl... Uh, from India is doing a, a special dance. Yeah, it's actually very good. Uh, then the next scene has the rare Field 10 opening shot. Dipsy's showing everyone his special dance. It's a very long scene. I don't really like it, honestly. Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Tinky Winky's the boo shouter. Now sitting and standing. This one has an opening scene where the Teletubbies are, of course, sitting and standing. It has no field shot. And... Uh, uh, Tinky Winky's chosen for a TV event. These kids are sitting and standing with their friends and family. 
And Dipsy sits on his hat and it's all squished. At one point it's not. And he sings that song he sang in Sylvie's fish pond when it fell in the puddle. And Anunu tidies it up and fixes it. The voice trumpet's halfway up and Dipsy's the missing teletubby and Tiki Wiki's the boo shouter. And that's it for now.